Good morning YouTube friends, my name is Jackie, welcome to Gone Potty Gardening. In today's video I'm going to talk about garlic and growing garlic and how I grow garlic. Now I usually grow garlic in raised beds um, but I found by doing that um, when you come to grow other vegetables they are still not ready to be harvested so therefore they take up a lot of room in your raised beds. So what I'm going to do this year is just put some in one great long bed that I've got, but I'm also going to put some in the ground. But the way I found the most effective way of doing that was by laying some weed suppressant down, cutting a V in it and putting a piece of drain pipe in the hole. You know, just a short piece, probably about five inches tall. So what I did was I cut a drain pipe, so I had lots of these little bits, and um, I used that method to grow my corn. And it's really good because it stops any weeds, grass, and everything growing up in between your crops. So therefore, it saves you loads of work. Now, obviously, you don't have to use the pipe. That's just what I use, but you could just do it straight into the ground that way. Um, I just find it really efficient doing it that way I know it'll take a little bit of time for you to you know cut the pipe and do the uh, weed suppressant and all that but when you think long term the work that it's going to save it's really worth it um, so yeah um, that's what I'll be doing with my garlic this year now last year I grew two types of garlic Lautrec and Provence now the Provence um, I've got some really nice big bulbs so I have actually saved some of them from last year, from this year, to plant now for next year. But what I wanted to do this year as well is I wanted to grow some elephant garlic. Now, um, I gen generally use um, an online store called Quick Crop. Now, you, generally they're really good, you know, but I've just noticed that a lot of their garlic is out of stock on their website. Um, so... That led to me doing a bit of a search and I came across um, a channel maybe that some of you watch, Way Out West Blowing Blog. Now they had a little website with a little shop, um, a few sort of ha handmade items were for sale, but also garlic that they would grown, the elephant garlic, and they were selling um, two kilograms in weight for 35 euros. Well, when I looked on the box I'll show you actually 11 euros of that is postage and now there is two kilograms of weight in this box and they're super they're huge I'll show you so well worth it and when you think if I save what I grow even if I save half of what I grow this uh, next year so this year, but save, you know, from when they've grown next year. I'll never have to buy it again. So that's the way to do it, isn't it? Each one of these um, garlic, elephant garlic cloves will probably produce about five to seven cloves that size. So it's fantastic, isn't it? When I looked online at the shop that I usually uh, use online, Quick Crop, they were out of stock of a lot of their garlic. So, uh, yeah, that's why I went there to get them. Um, and I'm sharing them with a friend. So it's a bargain. It's a real bargain. And it's good that you can support other people. You know, so it pays to look around. That's what I'm saying. When I plant my garlic, I'll be planting it about four inches deep um, with the pointy bit upwards. Um, I'll probably leave about eight, eight inches between planting each bulb. And if I'm doing it in rows, I need to leave 12 inches um, between the rows. So, yeah, you have to think about these things when you're looking at whereabouts you're going to grow them. And uh, But they're well worth it. Think of the harvest that you'll get. And you'll be able to share out the bulbs with your friends. I think with gardening, it's the same as everything else, you know. Um, 
you're best not to buy straight away and best to look around. Um, prices do vary in a lot of things. And if you can support a, a smaller business, you know, it's much nicer to be able to do that. And, um, and you're getting value for money as well. If you can, try to choose um, a sunny spot in your garden that's well drained. Obviously, if you had a, a you know wetter patch in your garden, the bulbs would just end up rotting and you wouldn't want that, would you? I'm not going to be able to get out in the garden for a couple of days because we've got the tail end of this storm, Sam, from the US and it's bringing with it tons of rain. So when I can get out in the garden, you know, I will uh, video planting the garlic and um, also I do have to harvest them potatoes that we talked about in the last video. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little video and you got a few tips from it. And uh, I'll leave a link in the description of where I got the bulbs and um, yeah, maybe you want to try them. Anyway, take care everyone. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I love reading all your comments and until the next video, I'll talk to you then. Bye for now. Why not come and join me on Facebook or Instagram? The link is in the description.